Is the Bank of Canada ready to cut rates and bring relief to mortgage holders across Canada? No, I don't think they're ready yet, but they're certainly thinking about it for 2024. I spent the last two days at a real estate conference in Toronto and CIBC's senior chief economist, Benjamin Tao, spoke on day one. And in this video, I'm gonna summarize what I learned from him. My name is Tom Story. I'm an active real estate agent here in the city of Toronto. I make educational real estate videos about what is going on in this crazy Canadian housing market. If you watch today's video and you learn anything new, all I ask is that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and join our growing community. You can also go into the first link in the description and book a call with me at a time that works for you. The first thing that we have to talk about in this video is that December 11th is the next Bank of Canada announcement. Now, I think most people believe that they are going to hold. I personally believe that they are going to hold as well. If you're watching this video after that date, you can let me know if I was wrong below. And we have to keep in mind that four of the last six announcements that there have been, they have held rates. And I think that's why a lot of people believe there's gonna be no changes for the end of 2023. But where do we go next? What is going to happen in 2024? Over the next two years, we're gonna have a lot of Canadians are gonna have to renew their five-year fixed rate mortgage at significantly higher rates. And yes, the bank will let you extend your amortization back, but for you, the homeowner, that's not really helping unless you absolutely need it because you just end up paying more interest. So Benjamin Tal, who I think a lot of people know these days, it's kind of funny in the last two years how bank economists have become like mini celebrities in the Canadian real estate world. But he spoke. I was literally front row. I've got a funny photo I'll put right here of me and my co-host of the podcast, Steve, uh, watching Ben Tao speak. And I will say, as someone that does public speaking, I actually got an opportunity to speak at this event earlier in the day. Ben stood there for 25, 30 minutes with zero slides, zero notes, and just spoke to an audience of 1,100 people. It was honestly amazing to watch. So here's the five things that Ben said. Number one, he said that bad news is good news. Okay, so everything you're reading in the news headlines, in the media that is negative, that is a good thing if you want inflation to come down. If the news stories were very positive and Black Friday this year set record numbers, that would be bad long term for our country. So bad news is good news if you're in a position that you want interest rates to go down. So just keep that in mind. The second thing he said, which makes a lot of sense, is that the Bank of Canada can't come out, even if they hold rates in December, they can't come out and say, we're done. They did that earlier in 2023 and the market kind of took off and that caused an issue. And then they had to raise interest rates two more times after that. So even if they believe that they are done with raising rates, they can't come out and actually say it. They're always going to leave that door open. They've learned from their past mistakes. The third thing that he mentioned is that he believes they've gone 50 basis points higher than they need to. So they've overshot it here. And historically, that is something that happens with the monetary policy from the Bank of Canada. So not only does he believe that they went too far, but he does believe that they are done. There is going to be no more rate hikes. The fourth thing he said is probably the question why you clicked on this video is when are the interest rates going to start going the other direction and when they start going the other direction how far down are they going to go he believes that q2 of 2024 you are going to see that first interest rate decrease from the bank of canada it's very likely to be a 25 point decrease and then the question is okay if right now the overnight rate is at five percent keep in mind we started at 0.25 percent how far are they going to go down here when they're ready to start bringing interest rates down? And he was saying he thinks it could get to 3%. So there could be a lot of interest rate decreases coming here. Now, again, this is just one person's opinion. He could be right. He could be wrong. We all know half the economists are wrong most of the time. But is interesting from someone in his position to publicly say something like this? Because that kind of surprised me. I didn't think they'd be talking about going down that far for a long period of time. And the fifth thing I want to talk about is not actually something that he said, just something I started to think about is there is possibilities that this could be the bottom of the market just like it was at this point last year i don't know we'll have to see what happens but it does look like the news is negative which is going to be a positive thing for our economy over a period of time and i'm not even talking about active sale price what things are selling for decreases or increases in the sale price i'm talking about what it actually costs to own a property with the interest rates, with the purchase price, I think we're going in a good direction that it could cost a little bit less on a monthly basis for all of Canadians with mortgages into 2024 and 2025. His outlook here was obviously optimistic. I know TD saying that the market's still gonna go down 
another 10%. And it absolutely could with all the other things he's saying also happening together. So I'd love to know your opinions on this. I appreciate you being here and watching this video. My name is Tom Story. And remember, home is where your story begins.